what is going on YouTube it's your favorite YouTuber me and my kicks and this is my vlog of the mall of Louisiana located in Baton Rouge Louisiana man coming up over here in the mall got two floors Upstairs and the downstairs, pretty decent. They got a guy over there making fresh coffee for you. So if you want to get, get straight from the beans, you can go over there. Got a nice outside view. Overall, it's pretty decent. Trying to see if I can find a Foot Locker and stuff like that. We'll head to that next. I know I usually don't bring it up, but they got Zara over here looking real clean. Every time I go in there, it's usually all messed up. And it's like a super big Zara, but this location, real clean all types of new stuff in there it's, it's a pretty decent area it's john extra big probably at least like two or three blocks of mall man that zara still stretch out let me it's more zara like this zara at least like a block long that's crazy it must be their headquarters or something but overall definitely a decent little mall Let's go ahead and check out what they got they got a locker room by Liz. I might not put that in the vlog, but I'm gonna definitely check it out. And you got a Snipes right there, followed by Champ Sports. So we like all the shoe stores on the up, on um, upper floor. So let me check them out. First up, we're gonna hit up this Champs and see what's good. At this Champs, they got a lot of New Balances up at the front. Got these 2002 joints. Got these in the gray. Got these. Nice little selection in the New Balances. And they also got. Some uh, Cherry 12 said, I don't know if they got men's, but this is a GS size. Definitely glad these retro. Had to give me a pair. Got a whole little outfit set up for them. What else they got? Let's go. I don't think I've ever seen this color in, the, um, in them D's before. This is a nice color. Nice little freshwater type blue. And they got those um, Ultra Boosters for the winter and stuff here too. Not a bad price on them. They ain't really got much though. Ain't really got much at all. Got some questions here. The uh, Michigan State joints and the yellow toes. Um, got a lot of the mellows. I'm not a big fan of the mellow kicks, but I know the, the kids are, so. I mean, it's a lot of them just sitting for you guys. Got this Air Max 90 for the kids. Where you like Got like little stickers, or not stickers, but Velcro joints you can stick on there. That's pretty decent. What else they got? Um, these 13's not bad for the kids. Black with the um, purple. Then they got the burgundy fives, those cold. Got those in the collection, gotta review those soon, but not nothing too crazy in this um, Champ Sports. Just, you know, regular Champ Sports stuff you see at every mall, but I had to go ahead and throw it in the vlog. So the next, next spot up, we're gonna go to Snipes. And then they got a JD Sports a little bit further down, so we're gonna hit both those up. At Snipes, they got it extra loud up in here, but you know, I'll talk anyways. They got the LeBron 21s, the Purple Rain joints. Not a big fan of this colorway in person. Uh, what else they got? They bringing these back hard, the, the um, Toronto joints, not bad. And I like this color on the Air Max 270s, it's not bad. What else they got? It's not a bad on um not, not a bad colorway on the 97s. But you know, oh, looks like a nice little Halloween colorway of the Prestos. Okay, got the little spider. Yeah, this is definitely a Halloween John. What else they got? Expanded out. Got some got some Harachis right there. But nothing that's just calling me. I like these all black um Vapor Max pluses, but nothing too crazy. I never seen this Air um Air Force, I'm sorry, Air Force One mid before. Like, got this little stuff on the back, and it's like, got like a, it's not like glitter, it's more so of like a cement type print on there. These kind of ugly, but these will definitely withstand that winter, especially in Chicago with that snow. These will go right through some snow. You could have these and wear them for the whole winter season. They'll still look like they're brand new. 70 bucks? Yeah, you couldn't get these away to me. These are nice Air Force Ones. They're for the kids or for the youth. I like the different colors on here. These go hard. These go decent. Then they got these winter ones or like winter theme color it's not bad either uh what else they got i don't know why they got their ones looking like this oh that's some dunks okay i'm clean now this nice graphite color right here with the white on there 
and the icy bottom, that's not a bad, bad colorway. As far as the Jays go, they ain't really got much. They got the regular Team Jordans. Um, I want to say these recently came out. Is these the, no, these ain't, these ain't the mids. I know they had some hats that came out that was this color, like they call them the mobs. They were okay. Got these um, Jordan 2s here. Not a bad colorway, but I wouldn't cop. What else they got? Oh, um, not much. Got the Winterize 6 rings. These be coming out every other um, winter in the brown and the black. They must sell out a lot of them. They got the um, IE Lowe's, clean, not a bad colorway. I'm still waiting for these to go on sale at a good price. I, I definitely got to cop these. The sevens. Oh, here go the, um, the mob has. Not a bad colorway, but Jordan released way too many ones, and these didn't sell out due to that reason. Chambray sevens, not a big fan of this colorway, but respect the fact they bringing them back out. A lot of people have been talking about these um, fives that recently came out for the kids. I wouldn't wear them if they came out men's, but for a kid to wear these, I could see them pulling this fit off. It's, it is a pretty loud shoe, but you know, Jordan like to do a lot, a lot of loud colorways for the kids. Not a bad shoe in my opinion though. Look at Polo Sport trying to make fun of um, Adidas or copy off the Adidas NM1s, NMDs. I want to say these are like the NMD2s or version 3s in my opinion, but nice little attempt. Can't go wrong with Polo. All right, in front of JD Sports. Pretty decent sized location. Let's see what kind of kicks they got up in here. Got these Air Force Ones for the kids, uh, girls or whatever. The rhinestone Nike check. Eh, it's not bad. Just a little bit too cheap looking in my opinion. It's a nice color. It's in them dunks though. Nice little colorway. I don't know what these is. But these look like between a Air Force One and a dunk. Got some Blazer Lows. Um, then they got some Jordan One Lows. Not a bad color. It's not a bad color in them Jordans either. It's pretty decent. It's a nice color in the Air Max Pluses. Like a nice, like cranberry. Not, I won't even go cranberry, like a light cranberry. And these pink ones, not bad. These like watermelon colored Air Maxes, not bad. They don't really have much over here. These winterized Air Max 90s, these go crazy. Nice Thanksgiving shoe, if I ever saw one. They got the white and pink MX90, um, MX ones. I did a review on that. I put it up above if you want to check it out. They got the white and volt ones. Not a big fan of these, but you know, not a bad colorway. This is going to easily get dirty instantly. This and this because this part is made out of like that cotton suede. Got the white and black joints. Classics. Just over here chilling though. Oh, I like these LMAX 90s right here with the pink on there. Nice breast cancer awareness type shoe. They got the Cardinal 7s just sitting here. Not a big fan of this colorway, but overall, it's a decent shoe. Like, I'm just not a big fan of that colorway. They also got the Miles sitting here as well. Regular, regular Jordans. This is a nice little Halloween theme type Jordan. This one here as well. This is a new style type Air Force One. I ain't never seen this with the different Nike checks on there. Not go decent with a Bulls jersey. What else they got? Um, got some waterproof Air Force Ones with no seams. Pretty decent. And they got some mint ones down here as well. Fresh water color too. Not bad. They got the chili Air Max ones over here chilling. They got the um, lime green Air Max ones here chilling. This colorway, I guess it's a JD Sports exclusive. This one goes hard. A nice like pigeon type colorway. Not bad at all. What else they got? They got the olive joints here too. Decent. Like in these that Max ones right here. White with the olive and red. And I got the some Air Max ones. I mean, I'm tripping. Air Max 90s, like that. And they also got some Air Max 90s, like those Air Force ones I showed you. Not bad. I almost thought these was um, OG Neon um, Air Max 95s. I was about to grab these so quick, Neon Greens. Nice colorway in these, but overall, nothing too crazy, nothing I need to have here, but just a nice little spot overall though. Not bad. I got the kids 12s, um, Jordan 12s, cherries over there, but ain't got nothing for nobody else. Also, looks like they got the Ant Pearl KD 16s, I think. These okay. I just couldn't see myself paying retail for them, but I love the Ant Pearl colorway in any shoe. They got the 
Ja, my ranch joints here. Just ain't found a colorway in those that I really like. They also got an upstairs part of the Zara. This is the biggest Zara I've ever seen, man. Like, they really doing their thing over here. This must be like the headquarters. It gotta be. Never seen a Zara this big. Over here in the um, food court, they got a full size carousel if you wanna ride the rides or whatever. But here's a look at the downstairs area from upstairs. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. But overall, not a bad mall. You know, an area you can take the kids. I don't see no heat heat here, but it's pretty decent. Got a Foot Locker coming up. House of Hoops, they say. I'll see about that. And they also got a city gear down there. So we're going to go ahead and check it out, see what they're talking about. Got a bunch of 550s here. Look like some pairs going on sale, some not. But, you know, if you wait it out long enough, you'll get a nice little deal on them. Got the 990s chilling here. What's these, 990 what? I don't know what version that is, but it's not a bad colorway. Got a decent little amount of New Balances here. Not bad. I got the Florida A&M um, LeBron jersey. Even though he ain't played for the school at all, <laughs> they, they selling merch with his name on it. That's how big his name is, that's crazy. Ain't really got nothing towards the back, no J's or nothing like that. They got the Burgundy 5 sitting here, Chambray 7 sitting. Definitely a clean shoe in hand. I, I feel like the quality could have been better, like some a lot of pairs was ashy, but you know, I'm just glad they re uh, retro them. They ain't got nothing else of note. Got a nice little pink and green, AKA <laughs> um, Giannis um, shoe, or Giannis shoe, my bad. And they got these nice CB34s. This is a nice colorway that came out. Nice little Halloween color colorway, that I believe. And they got some more LeBron over here. They got the first colorway of the 21s. This is a nice colorway, like nice, subtle, like tan with the orange in there. You can't beat that. Just not a big fan of the um, Purple Rains, though. And they got some NXTs here. Overall, Foot Locker ain't really got much. I'm glad they not harassing me, though. Like, you usually go on Foot Lockers and they be just bugging you left and right. They over here chill. Not a bad outfit. Nike outfit. Let me go ahead and City Gear, see what they're talking about. Last spot up here is City Gear. I think this is the last shoe store. See what they got going on. As of now, it has not been a lot of heat here. Nice area, nice mall, but nothing crazy. But let me just check this out. Got these M um, MX ones that recently came out, the white and orange joints. These only came out in women's. If they came out in men, I'd have probably cop, but not a bad colorway in those. They got the white and blacks here too. And it's just kid sizes in the 12s. You rarely see this um, in the stores. They got the blueprint, um, or Reebok Question Lows. Wasn't a big fan of these. I didn't really like that two-tone baby blue they had. Like the upper looked different than the bottom. But as far as like the quality, it's not too, too bad. But I, I was not a fan of those. What else they got in here? Got these winterized type Prestos. Not bad. Um, I don't see anything else that's like catching the eye. But, you know, if, it, if I do find something, I'll take you to it up. Hold on. Got these answer fours. I forgot the name of this colorway, but this wasn't a bad colorway in these shoes. Not bad. They ain't got no price on them. 150, they, but they don't sell. They don't, get, they don't give you the sale price. Uh, need to do better. They also have like a outdoor portion of the mall as well. Like you got Dillard's over there, Columbia, Soma, just a whole bunch of like out, outside parts. I'm not gonna check those out because there's not any shoes there, but just to let you guys know, it's the outside and the inside portion to this mall, which is pretty decent. Like the, you know, changes and stuff like that. So overall, I would, you know, say definitely check out the mall, but don't think any he's going to be here, like the trees and stuff. But, you know, I'll go ahead and end it out on that note. All right, guys, that is the end of my vlog. And overall, um, the mall of Louisiana was a nice spot. Like, you can definitely take the kids, take the camp, take the family there. But overall, as far as, like, heat, it wasn't much heat there, but like if you're in the Baton Rouge area, this is probably the mall that you got to hit up when you want to get any type of latest Jordan drop or Nike drop or whatever. So I'll give it that credit. So as far as like my rating of it goes, I'm going to give it a three and a half, like three and a half, three. Like even though it wasn't much heat there, like 
that's really the only place in um, Baton Rouge that really got heat like that. So three, three and a half out of five is my rating. But overall, man, it was definitely great vibes. I, I enjoyed my time there. Um, I love the fact that it got an inside portion and an outside portion, you know, just for like your one-stop shop. If you wanted anything, you would go to that mall. But overall, that's my rating. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Also comment down below, what's your favorite shoe you've seen in this video? If you ever been to this mall before, whatever, man, just comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, takes nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.